Welcome back to the Direct in Design YouTube channel. Today, we're going to jump into making a website super fast using hosting as AI tools. And in this instance, I'm going to build a fake website for a handyman service company called Fast Fix Local. I think that's what it's called. Anyway, let's get started. So if you scan the QR code or click on the link that I added to the description, you can get referral pricing with yeah, with two ninety nine a month um, with several extra months, or like me, if you want, you can just come to the pricing page and you can just switch it to one month just to give this a try. So, if you're serious about getting started and launching an actual website for a real business, I would suggest that you get a domain. I used the AI generative features here to search for a domain for a fictitious handyman company. And I found the domain fastfixlocal.com, which is what I used to design my logo from as well. So uh, let's get started. So whether you decide to choose a domain or not, when you log into your hosting or account, you're going to click on websites, website list, add a website, and then choose the hosting or website builder. Here you can use the AI tool to create your own website. So I'm going to type in the description and um, basically to tell it that I want to create a website for a handyman. And I'm also going to add some details about um, what pages I want. So if you type into the box, into the description box, and you actually name the pages that you want, it will create the, the, the pages for you. So once you've got your description right and you click create a website, the AI tool starts working and it actually generates all the pages that you've described, the style of the website, the theme, and what it's for. Then from here, it's going to ask you what color scheme do you want to use? So there's some presets, uh, color schemes. You can take a look at them. Um, but regardless of what color scheme you choose, this is just a starting point. So you can go through and edit everything that you want once you jump into the site, which we will get to in a moment. I'm just going to play around with a couple of color styles right now. And uh, let me try this darker theme. I like this one better. And then once I've got a color scheme, I'm just going to say continue. So you can see from here, it's laid out the website with various text. And I had created a logo. So I'm going to go ahead and click and select and upload the logo that I created. And uh, let's see, it's a PNG. And I've also pulled the colors from the logo for use throughout the site. Uh, the logo is a little bit small, so I'm going to click on it and see uh, where the logo options are. It says logo width. As I scroll this bar left and right, it's going to change the width and size of the logo. As you go through the site, you can click on various things and edit them. And we'll get into more depth about that soon, where you can actually move stuff around. So if you look around the site, you'll see that it's done a nice job of laying out each page, but you're going to need to customize the pages for your business. So here, for example, there's a map, the contact details. You'll need to go through every page and customize it for you. It even created a couple of blog posts, which may, may or may not be good. You can review them, and in a later video, when we go into blogs and SEO, I can show you how to add new blog posts. So go through the site and customize it. I'm going to just uh, customize the button here. And as I mentioned earlier, I did look at the colors that are in my logo. There's an orange and a dark blue. So this is the orange, which looks great for that button. Also, I'd prefer if the button didn't have um, rounded edges, which I'll change in a moment. This button should link through to a page, in this instance, the contact page, because I'm going to, sh I'm going to change um, what the button says in a moment as well. So uh, corner radius, it looks more square. And I'm looking for where the button text is. There it is. So I wanted to say book an appointment. Let's see, uh, make an appointment. 
there's a few more options for us to look at in the side menu specifically here so we can drag and drop the order of our pages i wanted to move contact and we can also change the site fonts and it gives a list of where all the different colors are used within the site we can look at how we want our primary and secondary buttons to look and add animation which is a very nice touch fade slide and scale i like slide we can look at the blog posts and also on any page you can add various elements this is maybe one of the only limitations i see with the system is it doesn't have a lot of elements that you can add to a page but for a basic website it's got everything that you need this is a drag and drop system. So I'm gonna go through and further customize elements. I can grab and move the titles and adjust them. And really make use of the space. Change that heading to heading two. Readjust the color. Edit the contact button. I'm gonna do the same thing as the make an appointment button. And then you can select multiple items by dragging and move them up. And I'm gonna shrink that section. Take your time and go through and check images. I'm reprompting this one to create a new AI generated image. You can use stock or you can upload your own. So go through the whole site. It's a very good idea before you launch the site to go through social links, update them, add some if you need to. I'm adding my YouTube. And then also go back through all of the contact information. So make sure the phone number is yours, make sure the email is yours, and do all of this before launch because it's very important for the details to be correct and for people to be able to contact you. At any point while creating the site, and especially before launch, you can hit preview and you can see how the pages are going to work, how the animations are going to work and how the site looks. So now we've reached the really exciting part. We're going to connect a domain and launch your new website. And it's as easy as that. Once you select the domain or choose a domain and you launch the site, you can now verify by typing into the URL bar that the site is live. So I hope that you found this very useful. And remember, you can use this tool to build a website for any company. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Ta-ta for new.